Hey guys, we are going to subtract numbers in scientific notation. I've been even looking forward to this all day, okay? All right, to be able to do this, you need to have a basic idea of what scientific notation is and also how to subtract decimals. If you need a review on either of those things, I will link some videos in the corner for you. But let's go ahead and get started, okay? When we subtract numbers in scientific notation, in this case, these are really, really big numbers that we've written in scientific notation, they make them easier to work with, okay? So when we are subtracting these, what we want is we want the exponent on our 10 to be the same, okay? When it's the same, we can just go ahead and subtract these and times it by 10 to the sixth power, okay? As you can see on the top, they're the same, on the bottom, they're not. So uh, I'll show you kind of what we do when they're not the same, okay? So on the top, they are the same. So we are going to take our decimals and go ahead and just subtract them, okay? So I'm going to take 5.94 and subtract 2.227, okay? When we subtract decimals, we line the decimals up. And then if they're not even, we can go ahead and add a zero there, okay? Now I'm going to borrow. I'm just subtracting these. So I've got three one seven we drop our decimal down and three so i've got 3.713 when i subtract those okay so 3.713 times 10 to the sixth power okay and that is my answer okay so when the exponent's the same, it's pretty easy, right? But what about when they are different, okay? Here we've got four and three, okay? We want these to be the same. So we need to um, convert one of these so that they're the same. We can either get them to be both 10 to the fourth or both 10 to the third, okay? Let's just go ahead and try to get them to be both 10 to the fourth, okay? So if we do that, this one is already... 10 to the fourth, right? So this one we don't need to change. We are going to change this guy, okay? So this is when we just kind of have to think about it for a second. So if I were to convert this back to standard notation, I would be moving my decimal point this way, right? Three times, okay? So that means if I moved it once, then I'd be down to 10 to the second, right? If I moved it again, 10 to the first, right? So that must mean if I move in this direction, my number goes up right? If I were to put the, my decimal point here, to get it back to the place it needs to be, I would need to move it four times, right? So if I do 0.46, which a lot of times just to help us out, we like to put a zero in front there too. Oh, it's getting kind of cramped, sorry. Then it would be times 10 to the fourth power, okay? Because we moved that over once, to get it back to that spot, if it's here, I need to move it one extra time. So it'd be 10 to the fourth. Okay. So now they're both in 10 to the fourth power. I can go ahead and subtract them. Okay. So I'm going to do 7.25 minus 0 0.46. Okay. So I'm going to subtract these again. I got to borrow. So I end up with nine. I get to borrow again. It's our favorite thing to do. So we got seven, drop our decimal point down and six. So I end up with 6.79. And we are times 10 to the fourth. The one thing you do need to watch out for when you do this is sometimes you'll get your answer and the decimal might not be where it should be. Um, so if it's not, remember for scientific notation, we always want one number in front of our decimal, right? So if you got an answer and there was more than one number out there or less than one number, if it was a zero there, uh, just make sure you convert again like we did here so that there's one number in front of that decimal, okay? All right, hopefully that made sense. Um, if you need some examples of adding, multiplying, dividing, I'm going to be working on some of those and I will link a playlist. Okay, hopefully this made sense. Thanks. Bye.